How to do short multiplication. 64 multiplied by 3. Right, 64 multiplied by 3. Now we do a method like this, short multiplication, where the number here is greater than um, a number that we can multiply in our head. It's normally 12. So what we can do um, above the uh, 12 times table, it's normally best to write it out using this method. So this is how we set it out. We're going to write in our ones here, our tens and our hundreds, just to remind ourselves. And we're going to do three times four. So we always start with the ones. So we're going to go three times four, and we're going to multiply the ones by the ones. Three times four. Now, if you're not sure what three times four is, use your fingers. Three, six, nine, twelve. When we do these methods, we only ever have one digit in the square. So I put the one goes here in the next column on that line there, and the two goes there that you can see the 12. Once we've done 3 times 4, we do 3 times 6. 3 times 6 is 18, and we've got to remember to add this 1. We'll make 19. Remember, it's really 3 times 6 tens. But for the method, we can just say 3 times 6. So 3 times 6 is 18, add the 1 is 19. Then there's nothing else left to multiply 3 by, and there's no number here. So the 1 just goes there. So that's the first example. Let's look at a different one. However, before we move on, we should check. So let's just do... 3 times 4 is 12, 3 times 6 is 18, add the 1 is 19, and the 1 there. Another good way of doing a quick check is to see if it looks approximately correct. We know if this, if we round 64 to so there is 10, that's 60, and 60 times 3, 6 times 3 is 18, and if we were multiplying that by 10, because it's 60, that would make 180, so it, it looks correct. Let's look at another example now. So we've got 506 multiplied by 4. So we write 506, and our 4 is going to go there. Let's label again the 1s, the 10s, and the 100s. Add in the 1000s this time as well. 4 times 6, use your fingers if you're not sure, I know the answer for this one is 24. 24. 4 times 0 is 0, any number multiplied by 0 is 0, add this 2. 4 times 5, a little reminder that it's really 4 times 5 hundreds, but for the method we can say 4 times 5. 4 times 5 is 20, there's our 20, and then there's nothing left to multiply 4 by, so that 2 just goes there. Quick check. 4 times 6 is 24. 4 times 0 is 0. Add the 2. 4 times 5 is 20. 4 times nothing to multiply 4 by. So the 2 goes there. We know that 500 times by 4 is 2,000. So this answer looks correct because 506 and there is 100 is 500. For any question that you get, let's have another look, another one. Let's see if we had this question. We're going to do exactly the same method. We're going to start with the ones, which is, and we're going to do the ones times the ones, and then we're going to do the ones times the tens, the ones times the hundreds, and in this example, we also need to do the one times the thousands. So eight times three is twenty-four. Eight times six is forty-eight. Add the two is fifty. Eight times seven is fifty-six. Remember to add the 5, 
57, 58, 59, 60, 61. See my 61 there. And then 8 times 1, remember it's really 8 times 1,000. 8 times 1 is 8. 8 add 6 is 14. There's nothing left to multiply 8 by, so our 1 goes there. Quick recap. 8 times 3 is 24. 8 times 6 is 48. Add the 2, 50. 8 times 7 is 56. Add the 5 is 61. 8 times 1 is 8. Add the 6 is 14. There's nothing left to do, so the 1 goes there. Let's see if it looks right. 2,000, so 1,763 to so the nearest thousand is 2,000. 2,000 times 8. 2 times 8 is 16. Multiply the answer by 1,000. We'll give 16,000. It's approximately uh, 16,000. So it uh, looks like the answer is approximately correct. So that's how we do short multiplication. Remember, 1s times 1s, 1s times 10s, and so on. That method, remember to add that digit that's on that line. Don't forget to add that on as well. And remember to check. Uh, and, and that's it. That's how you go uh, short multiplication. Have a go at it. Uh, good luck.